good day today is a great day to introduce you to some of the settings in website management. Um, website management is great because it allows you to take your website here where you can see it on the left hand menu it says see your website um, and manage it. Add pages, remove pages, uh, it really is an incredible um, system that was created by World Profit. Um, we're not like a WordPress or anything. There's no cPanel. There's no FTP. Um, there's nothing except what you see here. So it's really a very unique system that right out of the box, as soon as you get your silver or your platinum membership, it's preset. Meaning you can remove things, you can add things. It's kind of like having a template set up. Um, to show you what things can look like. So let's kind of get into it here. Um, the way that you get you can get to it is if you're using the classic menu, it'll just say website management, or you can go to the top menu here and click on that. These are all the parts, um, but I'm not going to go through all these because many of these parts each have their own videos. But we're going to go to the home page right here of website management, and we're going to kind of dig into this, give you an overview. So sit back and relax. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff to cover, but it's all very basic because you can always delete, you can reset, you can go back to the way it was at the start anytime that you want. Um, and I really, really like that part about it because you don't have to worry about making mistakes or anything like that. You can always get it back to the way it was. The first and most important thing uh, to show you is I'm just going to click on georgekosh.com now. If you have a site that you've picked from our list, and you want to change it, you can. Um, the only issue is any links that you've sent out or cloaked or anything, of course they're not going to work anymore because you're changing the domain name. So if you do it early, that's the time to do it. There's no charge at all except for the cost of you booking it and you know registering it because we don't do that, um, that part of it. Now we are resellers, so if you do want to book it through us, um, you can do that. Just fill out a support ticket and we'll send you the link. But you can use GoDaddy or anything like that. It's totally up to you. Anyways, when I click on my, my link here, it just shows you what my site looks like. And of course, it's georgekosh.com. Um, you can see right away a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, There's a main page here. Um, this is all called an iframe, so it's just bringing this in. Um, from content that we have. You can see that uh, we, I've got the Live Business Center on now, which we transmit um, through YouTube um, and, and stuff like that. So you can see, uh, as an overview, there's a navigation bar up here. There's also a top menu, which you can customize. There's also, if you look to the right, um, you can see up here that Facebook, Twitter, the, the most common symbols for your um, social networks, there's an image here, a background which you can change. There's a picture of yourself if you want. You can turn it on and off, and you can customize this heading. Now, this is important for the search engines. Again, a lot of this is done with SEO in mind. This site will function fine in mobile devices also, um, so make note of that too. Things like these buttons here are all in the site settings. Um, which we're going to cover. And if you look over here, you can see we've got our affiliate programs, My Opportunities. This is a sub menu. So this is your top menu up here and then your top sub menu. And there's a little search here where people can search for um, things on your site. If you scroll down a little, and again, my site isn't what you're going to get right out of the package. I'm just showing you some things that I've added and we're going to go through how to control all of these things. Again, my advice to you is let's take your time with this. You're not going to learn it in a day. Um, you're going to learn it little, little bits at a time. Um, over here on the left, there's uh, menu categories as well as on the right, specials. You can control and have as many of these categories and links as you want. Okay, so these go down the left side. Brought to you by is going to be in your site settings. We're going to review that. These are codes. Um, everybody wants to add widgets and codes and things and banners and trackers. That's all possible. Okay, so these are some books that I've, myself and Sandy Hunter, our president, has written. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's some white space here. Well, all of these can be, you can add stuff down there if you want, um, which I'll show you. Okay, and then you go to the bottom. This is the diamond rotator, which anybody clicking on anything here, poster ads or anything, would sign up as an associate under me. 
this can be turned on and off okay so we've got banners here we've got eBay uh, store ads here um, and again over here we've got special websites recent posts from the blog part of your um, site which I'll show you okay there's an automatic these things are automated you don't need to worry about formatting you don't need to worry about copyright it's all included in design number 63 which is highly highly recommended that you stick with that design so let's just go back into the you know into the engine here that powers all of these things you know you can tell there's a big difference between what this looks like um, the website and compared to the management area first thing I want to draw your attention to is we have all kinds of different options up here each of these areas have um, help videos okay so the purpose of this video is to just give you this overview um, but things um, become very important in here you've got your meta tags and SEO this is again preset um, and I'll go into there and we can look at that a little bit uh, just to give you an idea the overview is you can see we have a left menu we have a right menu and we have a top menu and a top sub menu okay and all of these different menus in the bottom menu um, can be controlled um, other than the top and the bottom the top menu is you don't have to have anything in there if you don't want but it's hard coded in other words it's there you can use it or you don't need to same with the bottom menu sub menu and the right and left menu if you look over here menu management so you can click on that and you're able to kind of set those up again I'll remind you a lot of these things are preset for you so you get to see kind of what they look like and uh, get an idea of it the menus are very easy to enter and again if you make any mistakes um, you will be able to remove them there will be a delete button that shows up if nothing is in the category or you can leave the category in there and it won't show up it'll only show up if you have content okay make sure you order them um, in any way that you want and again you can change menus with the click of a button and all the links and everything will change automatically for you okay so we'll go back to main here the um, way to add pages edit pages and things like that are very straightforward we have some choices though the new page here if we click on that you'll see that you can add custom content within your current page design that means this right here Okay, so your current page design is everything around this area here that you see. So if I scrolling down this whole area that you see in the center, that's content within your website. Okay, so if you want to add that, you would click on here and you'll see right away it's going to pull up um, a couple of options for you. Like where do you want to put the page? Do you want it on your menus? And these are all showing up because you have them so if it gives you a drop down these are all automatic you don't have to type anything here at all the one thing that I will tell you and I want you to pay really close attention to this part is don't put codes in here this is just the name of your page okay so Joe Blow's store um, that kind of thing don't leave it blank because then nobody can click on it because it'll be invisible the order of it on the menu is um, you can leave them all zero if you want and they'll just show up randomly but I would probably take the time and, and uh, put one two or three or whatever you want this is a very scary page here because this would change it okay this default page you only have one all right so currently my default page is this one right here and if you clicked on this one and you you know you put your images in here and you created your nice page and you saved it this would become this area in here okay so be careful with that make sure that you don't click that you can while you're working on a page you can hide the page and then you would only see it down here when after you've created it you'll get a preview button all right which is which is handy if you make a mistake don't worry about it you can delete it a little delete button will show up okay we've got image gallery um, where you can take any of the images in your gal in the gallery um, we have an image hosting gallery and what you do is you just click on it and you can say right click on it and say copy and then down here you put the cursor in here and then you can paste it okay so you can say let's paste okay and oh sorry um, you would just take it I, I actually just drag it see how I got it I just drag it in there and drop it 
you can change the sizing and everything like that too. Okay, so you just click on here, see where it says image, or you can right click on it and just say image properties. So you can change the size, um, where it links to, um, things like that. I don't do any of the advanced stuff. I just do, you know, where, where are people going to go if they click on the image? It's up to you. You don't even need to have a link in there. You, you can change the image. You can change the width to 200 and it'll automatically do the height. Um, you can make it so they're not locked, so you can change it. I always just leave it natural so that it, it looks normal. You know, you don't want to scrunch it in or anything. You can put a little border around it, etc. Okay. Once you've saved, it's saved. You're good to go and uh, you can go from there. Um, we have a very nice image hosting gallery here. Um, if you if you're hosting images, okay, which is up here, image and ebook hosting, which you would set up. You could host any images you want for free on on the site. Okay, so that covers that type of page. If you go in here, you also have uh, templates that you can use. Okay, and we have several of them in there, and you can play with them and delete them when you're done, um, or keep them up. We do add some templates, but we don't often do that because a lot of people are putting in their own content. The full width page is really cool because it is just a full width page. It's a page that you can put on your site where when people click it, they will not see any of the menus or anything. They won't see any of this stuff. They'll just see the page that you've created. Okay, so really handy for an affiliate program or, or anything like that. You can put an image up of a book. You could put PayPal buttons in here. Um, the big thing to note with PayPal and buttons and codes that you want to put just in this page are with the source button here. So if I was to put, um, for example, if I just took an image from the gallery, so say I take this one here and I just drag it down. So I'm just clicking and dragging. I would be able to go source and you see how everything's all gone? It's just a, this code here. So if you wanted to sell, say you were selling something, you would hit the enter, then you would paste your button code down here. Okay, so you can put code in and it'll come up after you click source, you would see the pay button. Okay, so that's that's there for you too. If you're a platinum member, you can also create images using the um, World Profit um, Graphics Studio here. Back to main, you can see again. I'm going to click to click create a new page. This is very powerful and used often. This allows you to put a link or a pop-up to any site that you want on the internet. Um, and people will simply click the link. And again, don't put code in here. Don't put code anywhere. All you have to do is type in the URL. It can be HTTP or HTTPS. Um, put it in here and don't click default page because then it would redirect your whole website. People would never see your website. It would always go to this. And that's a common mistake people make. I don't know why, but um, you don't want to do that. Unless, of course, you want to redirect people who go to your website to another site, um, which I wouldn't do. I would rather just put a, a link in here and open in a new window, meaning when they click the link, whatever link you put in and, and page name, they would still stay on your site, but they would pop up another tab or another window and go to the other site. Okay. Again, you can play with these things. You don't have to, um, you know, if you make a mistake, you can delete it. All right, very easy for that. Magic Site Grabber, you can grab any URL. Give it a name, again, no code. Put in the URL of the site. Once you say grab website, this is unique because the other website, like you wouldn't be able to do that with a Facebook page or a Twitter page or Google. Only smaller sites allow you to frame them. Okay, and that's what this Magic Site Grabber does is it'll frame it within your site. It's really cool. But um, just be patient with it because some sites don't allow it. And if they don't, um, then you, you, you would just want to do the link option, which is what it just showed you. Okay. There's a little help video here to, uh, to get you going. So that covers the, you know, how to add stuff. Um, there's other ways, too, that I want you to pay special attention up here. You see where it says Affiliate Center? This allows you to add code. It could be analytics, tracking. Um, when you go in there, there's a help video, but the code, for example, is an image to a book with a link down here. They can go all along the left, all along the right, and footers down here. These are called footers down here. 
Okay, so you can do that with the affiliate center. So if somebody says to you, I want to add some chat code, you know, here's some chat code. Okay, you will go to the affiliate center and you can add that in. Site settings are important. There's two links for it right here, and I'm just going to click on this one. Site settings are really cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here, but it's all easy stuff. Um, I would leave my um, website as stretched, meaning it's going to take up all the space on the page. Remember, it'll adapt to mobile. The reason I do that is I just kind of like to use up all of my real estate. Um, monitors are getting bigger nowadays, but it's up to you. You can change it if you want. Website header image here, you'll notice that you can select from the header gallery. We have a whole gallery that you can pick from. And again, you change them by just clicking use header. It will do it immediately. You won't see this. This is just for me because we control our other site. So pretend that's not here. Okay, but you've got holiday images. We add images all the time. You can change them anytime you want. Okay, so there's no um, no big deal um, of updating, changing. Play with these. These are again just to make it look good. And you can play with a scroll value, meaning how how far up will the image go? Maybe this whole part up here will disappear because you've got the scroll value set. You can play with these settings. You can also add your own image um, from your hard drive if you want to use it up here. There's also a um, great place that's completely free called Pixabay. Okay, so you can go to Pixabay, grab an image from there, put it on your computer, click it here, and upload. You can also create background images with Graphics Studio. Make a mistake, no problem. All you have to do is delete. Okay, and grab one from the gallery. Um, incredible, you can even do video backgrounds on your site. Okay, so they're in there. Show the image or don't show the image. It's up to you. Whatever you want. Again, all kinds of options here for your fonts, colors, everything like that. As soon as you pick them, update website settings. You're all set. You get a newsletter with your membership. Turn it on. People can join. If you don't want it on, it's no problem. If you are a platinum member and you have auto responder messages shown, these are the ones where you can do it. And I'll show you where they show up. They show up right here. These two buttons that you're probably wondering about. The uh, Learn About World Profits Associate Membership is my autoresponder. If people click on it, they can subscribe there. Okay, so that's pretty neat um, deal for you. So Learn About World Profits Associate Membership. You can see people click and join. And the Join Newsletter on the website. That's the one that's down at the bottom. And if you scroll down, you'll see it all the way down here. Join newsletter, I urge you to leave it on. Okay, that way people can get to your newsletter, which you might be saying to yourself, well, I don't know if I need a newsletter. It's totally up to you. You don't have to show it. Completely up to you. Photo on website, on or off. Brought to you by. Make sure these things are what you want. You don't have to show your number. You don't have to show any of these things. This is automated here, depending on how long you've been with us. Okay, footer area. Remember I showed you the diamond ad rotator at the bottom of the website. You could turn it on and off. And the ClickBank product button. Okay, that's right here. And that is if you are with ClickBank. Okay, so there's a diamond rotator ad you can turn on or off. And if I scroll all the way up here, product of the day. All this is going to do is it's going to randomly go to a product under your ID. But again, you should be a member of ClickBank, which will be covered under the earlier training. Okay, you can call this special websites is the name that you've given down here. Okay, special websites and you can control the links in here. Okay, let's take a look at the blog you get now, because you get a blog built into this whole system. Um, oh yeah, something I forgot to mention. Down here, do you see the reset? Reset to defaults. Use with caution, but if you run into trouble, you can reset. Okay, there's a reset down here too. Scroll down, reset website. That way you can play around and if something goes wrong, no problem at all. You're good as gold, you'll start over again. Now, let's go back. We're sitting in the main area here. We've covered menu management, site settings, new pages, things like that. Um, meta tags and SEO. Click on that. 
and you can see this is your domain name you can change all of these uh, meta tag description kind of the description of your website we've set these all up for you already um, there's a meta tag video help right here for these different tags okay they're easy to set up um, site maps and things like that are all covered in the video all right so you're all set there you don't need to touch any of these things if you don't want um, totally up to you okay so you're not going to do any damage by changing these things um, at all okay so we'll go back to main so this covers you know the basic site now what I urge you to do is you can play with these things you can add and remove pages okay and see what they look like there's preview buttons here etc if you get confused or anything and you're having a little trouble you can always fill out a support ticket last thing I want to show you is a blog here do you see how it says blog this is built into the system and the blog is really cool because it's part of your website um, and you can see your you, let's view the site blog here first I'll give you some of the pointers about it you notice it looks like my site well it is it's your site with the word blog at the end All right and if you scroll down you can see blog postings here if you click on this one for example it will come up and of course I'm the test guy so I don't have a lot of stuff I think I posted this one there you go here's one by Sandy Hunter you can see very well formatted great for the search engines um, people can navigate nicely and so can Google okay, so you can blog as much as you want in those areas um, there's a postings list there's categories you can invite authors to um, write um, add a link to your blog all kinds of different things here okay so have fun with this it's all built in okay going back to here I wanted to do like a couple of things for example the landing page builders covered in videos each of the stores can be added to your site um, all again everything has a video PLR ebook store everything here is covered by videos cPanel hosting this is what you would use if you wanted to have another website that you would control you could edit everything like that okay so it's here if you need it SSL certificate is right here this is optional you don't absolutely need this um, unless you're selling something or if you're you know generating a lot of traffic and people are filling out forms however it's a nice thing to do there is a one-time or sorry an annual fee we will manage and maintain it um, and then you can also force it on your site if you want okay there's a little help video here the um, again cPanel hosting is, is a whole different ball game we also have WordPress which you can find down here on the left menu if you want to extend add things they're all here there's WordPress and website plus videos in each section if you want to book a new domain name right here cPanel info is here too all right so these things are all available to you if um, if you you know I want you to remember this is a we want you to be with us for many 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 years so there's a lot of stuff here and the reason is we're a business platform we're trying to teach you how to manage all this stuff and uh, take it slow you can change your design I urge you not to um, design 62 is a good one but you can click design change and you can try them out they'll do no harm to your site they don't delete anything they just change the design and the look okay so you can see under add design packs um, just a quick image of what the site would look like many of these sites are older technology okay the only newer technology ones are way down here and they're number 62 and 63 again you have 63 but 62 is right here you can try that one too it's very probably about three or four years old okay so it's really good but this is the one that I've created these two personally a lot of these are graphically nice um, but I leave that up to you it's totally up to you if you want to do that okay but you can change it there's no cost um, at all okay finally if you have any issues with any part of website management site settings or anything like that fill out a support ticket and we're more than happy to help you out and try to attend my weekly boot camp sessions because you can ask questions there and I'll demo how to do something because I do agree, you know, these, these things can get confusing. Um, but we're here seven days a week to help you out if you have any trouble. Okay, so thank you very much for your time.